Opposition leader Kamala Pissar Bissessa warns supporters not to be baited into a race war over the coat of arms controversy. Speaking at a pre-budget consultation in Saparia, she accused the PNM of using the issue to divide the country racially and to further their upcoming election campaign. Hesmo. The removal of Christopher Columbus's ships from the coat of arms and their replacement with a steel pan has sparked a debate among some in the population who believe that the move is not representative of certain ethnicities. However, the opposition leader and UNC political leader, Kamal Pasabi Sessa, warns supporters to avoid the conversation. Don't follow down that rabbit hole about these ships. That is not important at this time. They want to remove pre-independent symbols and names. They are weaponizing sensitive ethnic issues. Basad Bissessa explained that it is a distraction from the real problems citizens are facing. You know why they want us to talk about Columbus and Steel Pan and what else, Tassa? Because they don't want you to talk about five-year-old Anika who was murdered. Five-year-old child in her mother's lap. We have to deal with crime, Mr. Rowley, not with ships. Who cares about those ships? We care about the crime, the murder, the home invasions. We care about the high food prices. We care about school books for our children. Mr. Roy, tell us what are you going to fix then? She accused the PNM-led central government of using the issue to encourage racial division in the country. Politically exploiting the reparations cause by trying to stir up emotions to cause divisions. Removing these pre-independent symbols and names. I don't know when they'll stop, you know. Pasad Bissessa earlier this week condemned the move, saying that the change on the national emblem will not improve historical understanding or address present-day issues. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.